Edward told me. James told Edward, and they heard all about it from Thomas. When Thomas arrived at Abbey Station, Sir Topham Hatt was there. Thomas, you must warn all engines not to cross the bridge until it's repaired, he boomed. Thomas felt proud. It was a very useful job. Just then he heard a whistle. Someone was coming. Thomas had to warn them. It was Neville pulling Annie and Clarabel. Thomas was shocked. Annie and Clarabel were his carriages. Hello, puffed Neville cheerfully. I'm not talking to you, Thomas huffed crossly. Neville didn't know what he had done. Then Emily pulled in next to Neville. Hello, said Neville happily. Emily let out a wish of steam. It's no use trying to make friends with me. I know you're going to biff into all the steamies, just like Arian Bird told you to. Thomas was surprised, but the station master blew his whistle. And Neville puffed sadly away. Where did you hear that Neville is going to biff into all the steamies? Thomas asked Emily. Don't you know? Emily whistled. Percy told me, Edward told Percy, James told Edward, and you told James, huffed Emily. But I only said to James that I'd seen Neville with Harry and Bert. Then Toby arrived. Have you heard about Neville, the new engine? He puffed. Henry saw Harry and Bert be horrible to him at the yards. Emily was shocked. Thomas couldn't believe it. Neville wasn't friends with the Diesels after all. Where was Neville going, Emily tooted. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Neville's heading for the broken bridge. I must stop him. Neville was speeding through the countryside as fast as he could. Suddenly, Neville saw a barrier on the track. He slammed on his brakes. But it was too late. Neville was in terrible trouble. He was on the broken end of the bridge. Thomas knew it was all his fault. Suddenly, he had an idea. Thomas steamed slowly and carefully onto the bridge. He gently bumped Clarabel and was coupled up. Thomas was very scared. Slowly and steadily, he began to pull Neville back from the edge. The bridge made a creaking noise. Thomas knew he must hurry. He pulled as hard as he could, and with one big puff, he pulled Neville's wheels off the bridge. Thomas had done it. He had saved Neville and Annie and Clarabel. Thank you, whistled Neville. I should have warned you, puffed Thomas. But I was too busy believing silly stories. I thought you didn't like steamies, but now I know I was wrong. Thomas gave Neville a long, friendly toot toot. Neville was very happy. At last, he knew he had a good friend in Thomas. Thomas.